We're delighted to say that we've, we've moved away from our media hub uh, briefly at Event Tech Live 2015 um, to come to the booth being operated by Pokken. Um, Stefan Dutrio, I hope I've got that right, Stefan, um, joins us to tell us a little bit about what Pokken is, first of all. So Pokken is primarily, it's an interactive USB stick that uh, you can use in events to collect what you're interested in with a touch. So basically, what we've developed is a product that every participant in the event gets along with their badge, and often they are branded and provided by a sponsor. And you use it to collect the information you're interested in, such as people's business cards, by doing a little high four like this, collecting their business card, or by collecting media from the exhibitors. And the way that happens is you use your little USB stick, touch the sticker that's on the booth, and you collect documents, flyers, brochures, and so on. And what you're basically doing is bookmarking the information that you're interested in within the event. And when you go home, you can plug it in, and it has your story. Everything that you were interested in the event, the people you met, the exhibitors you, you met, and the documents you collected, the sessions you attended. You can also do session check-in with it. So the sessions you attended with the slide decks. It makes it really easy for you to refer back to what you did at the event and remember who you met and so on. And how is the information that you collect put together in the first instance? Is that put together by the event organizers or by the people exhibiting at the shows? And what are the different sorts of format that you can actually have that data go back to the visitor in? The events that we work with, the organizer generally uploads the registration list into our platform or we can run registration for them. That's a feature that's built into our system as well. So the tokens, when they're issued to the visitor, they're issued along with the badge, and they contain basically their registration information, the email address and first name, last name. The, d the content that the visitors are collecting by uh, tapping the, the stickers that the exhibitors use, uh, the exhibitors will upload themselves through a very simple web portal where they can upload their documents and organize them in different touch points. So this is two-way data collection? It is. It's always an exchange. What we found is that a lot of people are tired of these lead generation scanners. You know, when you walk up to a, a, a booth and somebody immediately, immediately jumps out at you and wants to scan your barcode, you don't get anything out of it. You feel like they're taking something away, and it's a little bit of a rough experience. With Pokin, what we wanted to create is really this equal exchange, this sense that you're doing something together. So when you're meeting somebody, you're, you have this little touch and glow. We call it the high four because they have four little fingers. <laughs> touch and glow, and you've exchanged information. With the visitors, it's a, it's an, with the exhibitors, sorry, it's also an exchange where when you touch the, the touch point, you get documents out of it. The exhibitor gets your business card. And of course, with the way consumers can access digital information now and the amount of physical devices that they now possess, this is a, a medium that should be accessible to most people. It's extremely simple to use, and that's what we were aiming for. We also, we, we spent the first few years in the business with mobile apps. As you'll see around, you see people that are doing apps that can scan this, scan that. And what we found is that people like this, this idea that technology can do this, in the, that they can do this with a phone, but it's too clunky having to pull out a phone, unlock it, launch an app, wait for it to boot, scan something, it basically ruins the moment. You're no longer engaging with the person you're interacting with, they've lost you in your phone. So having a device that everybody at the event gets, along with their badge that's just hanging there, and is easier to use than the old method, which, have been, which would have been to pull out a business card out of your pocket or your purse, having it be easier to do it digitally is key. And this is why everybody does it. It makes it easier, faster, so the, the visitors get more business cards out of it, more content. The exhibitors get also more leads, and they're able to qualify those leads because they'll know what a visitor has collected on their booth. So in their interface, after the event, the exhibitor is able to log in and see what topics were interesting to this visitor. So they're, they're able to do much more qualified follow-up. And I understand that there was some very, very significant investment and development that went in behind the scenes to Pokken before you were able to bring it to market. We never expected it to be so difficult to create a very simple product or a product that appears so simple. But actually getting to the essence of what we wanted to do, which is just tap to collect, was a challenge. It took us four years. Initially, we'd created a prototype out of off-the-shelf components, so components that we could, we could obtain uh, from electronics manufacturers. The product was a bit big, a bit clunky, and it was something that you had to recharge. And it ended up that the uh, people doing our trials loved the idea, they loved the concept, but what was clear is that we needed to achieve 
a product that was, first of all, cost effective and ex extremely small and easy to use. So we invested, hold on to your pants, we invested millions, upwards of 10 million, developing our own microchip, uh, which is now manufactured by Swatch. Uh, and it's a microchip that has a technology called NFC, near field communication. You might be familiar with this technology. It's in some of the, uh, most of the mobile, mobile phones these days. And it's a chip that's a single chip inside the, this device, uh, which makes it cost effective. It makes it extremely small, extremely compact. And we achieved the level of simplicity that we were aiming for. And the reason we made that significant investment is that we could see that there was a massive opportunity. We, everybody we talked to and everybody we tested this with it resonated with them, our story. You know, what we experienced going to trade shows before we started this venture, going to a trade show, carrying a bag that fills out with flyers, brochures, catalogs, business cards, all this stuff that ends up in the trash in your hotel room. Everybody says the same thing. Yeah. Where, where does this stuff end up? In the trash in my hotel room. I don't even fly home with it. So we're saying, why is that? What, why are you collecting all this stuff? You're bookmarking. You're saying, I'm interested in this, I'm interested. But then later you realize this is just, it's too much weight, it's too clunky, what am I gonna do with it? So the investment we made was really to take this opportunity and say, people are willing, or organizers are willing to provide a technology and to pay for a technology that will simplify the lives of several of their stakeholders. Simplifies the life of the visitor, simplifies things for the exhibitor who doesn't have to ship cartons and cartons of brochures, they don't have to print them, they don't have to think about what languages to bring to a show, you know, how many of each brochure, how many languages and so on. Um, everything is digital, but all these stakeholders get more out of this system than they, than they do out of the old way of doing things. So th the opportunity was there, and we said this is uh, worthy of a significant investment. And what's the response been like, A, since you were able to bring it to market and actually launch the product, and B, here today at Event Tech Live, you're surrounded by other tech companies with some fabulous technology on display here today, some really interesting uh, visitors from all walks of the events industry coming here. What's it been like, or, or, or how is it bringing it to market, and what's it been like today? The response of the market has been great. Uh, just to give you an idea, um, within the first uh, year and a half of, of putting this technology out on the market and creating our brand, Pokin, the idea of poke, poking and getting a token, Pokin. Um, within the first year and a half, we had demand from so many countries that we set up eight offices. We set offices in the US, in London, in uh, Dubai, in Johannesburg. So we're, ser we're serving uh, events and clients worldwide with uh, local teams that can do you know, sales, local uh, account management and, and event support. Uh, and uh, in terms of the response at this event, it just reflects the same kind of opportunity as we've seen with clients worldwide. People come by our booth, at first they wonder, you know, what exactly is this? Because nobody does anything like it. You know, they ask us, is this a new app? Is this? And when they hear the simple explanation and they experience the touch and glow, generally the comment we get is, this is amazing, this is something that I'm so happy I discovered. It's a fantastic story. I'm sure there's lots more to be told with it. Um, it's been fantastic having you at Event Tech Live today. Stefan Dutrio from Pokin, good luck uh, in the future and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.